then you'll be wingless. Good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, and thank you for joining us once again, once again, the Modesters of Gaming. <laughs> I'm Kaiju K, and behind me, arguing over who's going to push wings off their laps, are the Kitten of Doom yeah. and Necro Nick. Hello. And behind me, silently snickering at the whole battle, is Grim. Say hello, Grim. And as you can see by my world-winning artwork, what'd you say, Kitten of Doom? T-Mog presents uh... my Kaiju K's. Top 10 fictional badasses. Now, badasses, in my opinion, are people that epitomize power, but with purpose. And it can be their attitude or their physical strength. That being said, the only rule is they have to be fictional. Number 10. And it's still doing it. Bloody hell. Uh, it's one Isaac Clark from the Dead Space series. I got it right this time. Basic idea behind this man is simple enough. He goes to find his ex-girlfriend, or girlfriend I guess I should say, and along the way has to kill an, an elite race, which is supposed to be the next step in evolution, and he uses basically power tools to kill them. Glorified. Sure, he gets an assault rifle or two, but limb-cutting plasma cutters is the only way to go. And don't forget to stomp the crap out of everything. I drills. I think you can make a drill in the third game. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I think you can just right through people. Coming in at number nine, however, is one of the few actual beings, Riddick. Yeah, I'm gonna have to excuse the uh, download frames and FPS here, folks. I can't fix this at the moment. Riddick has the ability to see in the dark. He's a race, I believe they're called the. What? Are, I can't Furian. remember. The Furian. He can kill you with a freaking teacup. It says it right there. He's going to kill you with a teacup. He can kill you with a tuna fish can opener's pen if he wants to. The only thing that keeps him from going any higher on the list is. He's not superhuman in any real way. Blind light, bl blinding lights will hurt him, and his weapons are ridiculous. Anyone who's seen them, who knows what weaponry really is, would know that they're not really effective. Give me a good old crowbar or a machete any day of the week. Coming in, number eight, the Merc with the mouth himself, Deadpool. His common sense is tingling. And not only does Deadpool have an amazing uh, amount of abilities, you know. Great martial artist, great with swords, great with guns, uh, superhuman regeneration. He also has a magical fanny pack that basically lets him break the fourth wall. He can pull anything he needs out of this fanny pack. Anything from unlimited ammo to a cardboardanium sword. That's right, cardboardanium. Which he uses to kill uh, Wolverine because it can stop regeneration. And of course, he's the king of one liners, so that kind of gives him an edge over most of the other competitors. I couldn't have this list without having Deadpool. Deadpool! Who could have a list without Deadpool? Next up, Tommy Oliver from the Power Rangers. Yes, Tommy Oliver is the only member of the original Power Rangers to still be here to date. I actually think he's in a new Power Rangers now where he's the Silver Ranger. I know he's been the Black Ranger, but he's fought everything from... He's uh, actually, just to add to your uh, top ten, mm -hmm. he's been in the most amount of Power Rangers than any other Power Rangers. Correct. He's fought everything from prehistoric villains to living embodiments of trash cans. I mean, he's saved the Earth so many times, yeah, he just deserves to be on this list. And would you really want to screw with some guy who can call up something like the Dragon Zord? I mean, come on. They made flutes cool again. <laughs> Next up, the... Only mime to ever be on this list, Dr. Gordon Freeman. Much like Isaac Clarke, Dr. Freeman is not exactly a combat professional. He's a doctor. That's it. But he goes so far as to state dimensions, alternate timelines, fellow scientists, and does it usually with a, a, a wide array of alien weapons and a crowbar. Yes, this man not only never speaks once in the entire series, but has done more damage than most of the badasses you guys are thinking about. Oh, yeah. From killing ancient aliens to dealing with ancient wonders, Dr. Gordon Freeman is truly the free man. Now, will somebody please, please make a Half-Life 3? Next up is one Ea Brea. I'm sorry, folks. This is one of the best pictures I could get for her. Ea Brea. Why are you sorry? That's hot. I know it is, but I try to keep it, like, badass, which is what that she is. That is badass. Ea Brea. First event came out in Parasite Eve and then Parasite Eve 2. She is a badass New York cop who finds out she has a parasite in her body that allows her to control all kinds of things from healing her body to throwing fireballs to basically transforming into the ultimate badass. 
She fights against all kinds of mutations, transformations, viruses. She is just so cool and play the game, folks, okay? You'll understand better. She is, and of course, she's also a lady in uniform, so folks, you know me, I got a thing for women in uniforms. Speaking of uniforms, Bayonetta comes next. The Umbral Witch herself, Bayonetta uses sexuality and guns strapped to her heels and hands to blow through badasses. She's also killed gods, or quotation marks, gods, and hunts, quotation marks, angels. Also, that wonderful suit she's wearing right there, that looks like it has leather bands and gold and everything, that's actually her hair. Which she uses to summon otherworldly demons, guillotines, iron maidens. She even has so much as leapt into the sky, grabbed a satellite in space by her thighs, and threw it into a god. <laughs> you don't have to be much more badass than that. Why she couldn't take down the god of war. Why, why would she even try? Speaking of which, Kratos, God of War. I was hoping that would be your next one. Yep. <laughs> Kratos, what, what more do I have to say? He kills gods for a living. And even after he impales himself by a god-killing weapon, he somehow lives and has a son in the next game, Dad of War. Well, that's what I'm calling it. <laughs> now, Kratos can pretty much obliterate any god with his bare hands. That's saying much, but the problem I have with Kratos is... He doesn't care about anybody else. Nope. When he's killing the gods, he's basically destroying all the people in Greece, letting loose plagues and floods and everything. And he might be a badass most regards, but come on, man. You ain't a hero, he's a villain. However, I do want the Golden Fleece so I can reflect the tax back at my opponents. If you can just hand that over, please. No? Alright, fine. Next up, Dante from Devil May Cry 1 through 4. Yes, not the fifth one where he's a fake. You want to know why he's a badass? You want to know why he's a badass? The very first game has a woman riding on a motorcycle, hit him with it, blow it up, impale his body with a sword, and how does he respond? He eats a slice of pizza, stands up, beats a bunch of monsters with pool cues and guns, sits back down, pulls the sword out, and says, now what do you want? <laughs> he also, in the beginning of the game, rocket surfs. That's right, someone shoots a missile at him, he surfs on it. He's defeated dimensions, other demon lords, things that are stronger than God, and... Virgil. And, 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 shut up. And everything he's done, he's done with a smile on his face and a one-liner following it. Bad ass. But number one, folks, Samus Haran from Metroid. This is a one-woman genocide machine. Basic storyline for her real quick, living happily on her planet. Space pirates show up, kill everyone in front of her, cover in her parents' blood. She's then picked up by the ancient Chozos, which are a race of bird people. They inject her with DNA and make her the ultimate badass. She then joins the military police, but she doesn't think they're badass enough. Becomes a bounty hunter, wipes out three or four different species in her wake, and all she cares about is moving on to find that next evil race to blow up. Yes, Nintendo has completely sexualized her ever since, but she will always have respect as being the ultimate badass. Oh, yeah. Because she's saving the universe from everything that wants to kill you. So, folks, that has been my top ten badass list. If you agree with it, please say down in the comments below. And if you don't agree with it, well, just tell me who you think your top ten badasses are. Because don't worry, there's a couple more lists of badasses coming out, and I don't think anyone has anything close to the level of badass I do. Ha! But until next time, folks, I'm Kaiju Badass K. I'm Necro Nick. Kitten of Doom. And we will see you guys in the future, everyone. Peace out, everybody. Bye! Bye.